Can that carry over to next week should O'Corn get the call against the Buckeyes? Such a momentum game. And obviously last week against Iowa, such a difficult game, such a disappointing outcome. Got off to a slow start, but that was the play, the 30-yard scramble that ignited this fan base in the stands. And really, you've seen this team play significantly better since that play. They're on the Michigan, or on the uh, Indiana 39-yard line, at least we think, with uh, snow covering the entire field now. It's third down and 13. And again, Indiana out of timeouts. Michigan is going to win 10 games in back-to-back -back seasons for the first time since 2002-2003. You think about what Jim Harbaugh has done at every stop. After a, a lengthy NFL career, he got into coaching late at San Diego. He turned that program around, went to Stanford, turned that program around in four years. They won an Orange Bowl. Goes to the 49ers, three NFC title games and a Super Bowl appearance. And then two years here in Michigan, and they are on the cusp of a potential college football playoff spot. Should they win next week and then win the Big Ten championship? He's been outstanding. And he has put these players, these 43 seniors in particular, through four hour practices. I mean, he has challenged them every step of the way. He knows exactly what his players need to get to the next level. He makes them uncomfortable on a daily basis. I was here working their camp last summer. Every camper throwing the football a million times, just being a quarterback. It was the aerial assault camp. Middle of the entire camp, he blows a whistle, says, that's it, get a glove. We're going to make you field ground balls. Just because the players didn't expect it. He's throwing them curve balls, no pun intended, all the time. And that's what he's done with this team, making them uncomfortable. So in difficult situations like this, like last week, more often than not, they've been able to respond. Cheerleaders making snow angels. The fans loving it. Their team getting win number 10. Their last Big Ten championship was 2004. And they control their own destiny to get that title this year. Guys, how's the booth? 